Have you ever felt overwhelmed by the battles you face in life, when the odds seem stacked against you and victory seems impossible? Remember this. When God fights your battles, the result is always victory. It's easy to feel defeated and alone in the face of adversity. But trust in God's power to turn the tide in your favor. When you feel like you're fighting a losing battle, remember that God is fighting alongside you, guiding you toward victory. No matter how big or small the challenge, when you trust God, you can rest assured that victory is on the horizon. Don't skip ahead. A life-changing message you won't want to miss. Imagine standing on the edge of an impossible battle, feeling the world's weight on your shoulders, your heart pounding with fear and uncertainty. Now, picture this. What if you didn't have to face it alone? What if you had the most powerful ally imaginable, ready to take up your cause and ensure victory? This isn't a fairy tale or a daydream. It's the reality of what happens when God fights your battles for you. Welcome to a journey of faith where you become the champion, not through their strength, but through the power of divine intervention. This is where fear turns into faith and defeat transforms into a victory parade led by God. It's a story that's been told through ages, echoed in the pages of the Bible and witnessed by millions worldwide. And now it's your story too. Have you ever felt overwhelmed, outnumbered, or outmaneuvered by life's challenges? Have you faced insurmountable giants or stood at the edge of the Red Sea wondering how you'll ever make it across? If so, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into an epic tale of victory against all odds, a story that promises survival and triumph through three powerful Bible verses. We'll explore how God steps into our battles, taking the lead and guiding us to victory from the awe, inspiring moment when Jehoshaphat was reminded that the battle belongs to the Lord to the parting of the Red Sea, for the Israelites and the comforting assurance that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. We're about to uncover the secret to unbeatable success. This isn't just about overcoming the external foes. It's also about conquering the internal demons of doubt, fear, and insecurity. It's about realizing that we are invincible with God on our side, not because we are strong, but because He is almighty. So, stick around if you're ready to see how your battles can turn into victories, how your fears can transform into faith, and how every challenge you face can become a testament to God's unfailing love and power. We're about to embark on a journey that will inspire you and change how you face every challenge in your life. Welcome to the story of victory, God's way. So, when you find yourself in the midst of a battle, remember that you are not alone. God is with you, fighting for you, and ensuring that victory is yours. Imagine stepping onto a battlefield, not with weapons or armor, but with an unbeatable ally. God himself. This isn't just any story. It's a journey of trust, where victories are won, not by the strength of our arms, but by the power of faith. It's about understanding that defeat is not an option when God takes charge of our battles. The outcome, always victory, pure and resounding. Let's unfold this story with encouragement and divine assurance through three powerful Bible verses. One, the battle is not yours, but God's. Two Chronicles, 2015, picture this. Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, faced a colossal army. Outnumbered and outpowered, he turned to God. The message he received was clear and powerful. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast army, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Imagine standing on the edge of despair, only to be reminded that the Almighty fights for you. It's not about our strength, but our surrender. This verse is a beacon of hope, 
reminding us that God takes the lead in our most overwhelming battles, turning our fear into faith. Two, I will fight for you. You need only to be still. Exodus 14:14. 14, 14 now. Let's travel with the Israelites, trapped between the advancing Egyptian army and the Red Sea. Panic set in. Yet, Moses declared, the Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. It was a call to trust amidst chaos. The sea parted, providing a path to safety, then closed over their pursuers. This moment teaches us about divine intervention and patience. When we feel cornered by life's battles, God fights for us and creates pathways where none seem to exist. 3. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Isaiah 54:17 here. We find a declaration of divine protection. It doesn't say weapons won't be formed. It assures they won't succeed. This verse wraps us in the comforting knowledge that no matter what challenges or threats we face, they are powerless against God's plan for us. It's about security and confidence. Knowing we are under God's watchful eye and protective hand, weaving it all together. So, what does this all mean for you and me? It tells us that our battles, fears, and challenges are not ours to fight alone. They allow us to witness God's power, love, and faithfulness. It's a call to shift our perspective from dread to anticipation, watching God turn an imminent defeat into a victory parade. Imagine walking into your battles with an unwavering smile. Not because you're unaware of the danger, but because you know who fights for you. This isn't just about facing external challenges and the internal struggles, doubts, fears, and insecurities plaguing us. When God fights our battles, He's also working within us, transforming us into more resilient, faithful, and courageous versions of ourselves. For the ultimate victory, and here's the most beautiful part, the victory we receive goes beyond just overcoming challenges. It shapes us, teaches us, and draws us closer to God. It's about seeing miracles unfold, not just in the parting of seas, but in the mending of hearts and strengthening faith. Your story is not just about surviving battles. It's about thriving through them, knowing that victory is not just possible, but promised. It's an invitation to live boldly, love deeply, and trust completely, with the assurance that when God is in control, victory is not just an outcome. It's a guarantee. Believe in the power of God to bring about a divine victory in your life. Trust in His plan, His timing, and his strength. Join me in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I'm reaching out to you, overwhelmed by this big world and my huge problems. My heart is heavy with fear, doubt, and worry about what's to come. Sometimes it feels like I'm up against a giant with just a slingshot or stuck between a powerful enemy and an impossible barrier. In those moments, Lord, Remind me that I'm not alone. Help me remember that with you beside me. Winning isn't just a maybe. It's a sure thing. Thank you for being by my side every day. I'm facing some tough times and things seem hard. But I know you're with me, fighting my battles for me. Knowing you're here makes me feel less alone and scared. Please give me the strength to keep going, even when I feel weak. Help me to remember that with you. I can get through anything. I trust you to handle the big and small problems, too. Help me see the good in every situation. And believe you're turning my struggles into victories. I want to learn from what I'm going through and become stronger. Thank you for always being there, loving and fighting for me. I know I don't have to be afraid because you're in control. Please guide me and show me the way to go. Father, I've heard the ancient tales of how you came through for your people, turning their fear into hope 
and their loss into a win. Just like you did for Jehoshaphat. Help me see that these fights are yours, not mine. Strengthen my faith to know you're taking care of things, fighting for me. And my job is just to trust your flawless plan. God, when life's troubles have me backed into a corner, when it looks like there's no way out or through, bring to mind the story of the Israelites and the Red Sea. Show me that by staying calm and trusting you, you'll open paths where there were none. Teach me to wait patiently and quietly in the midst of turmoil. Believing you're on my side, all I need to do is stand still. Lord, when I'm facing down, the things aimed at bringing me down, the harsh words, the creeping doubts, the fears, comfort me with the promise from Isaiah, 54:17, that nothing aimed at me will last. This doesn't mean I'll avoid challenges, but it does mean they won't win out in the end because you're my shield, champion, and constant support when things get tough. Every struggle, whether in the world or within myself, reminds me that I never fight solo. You're always with me, offering guidance, strength, and direction toward victory. Thank you, God, for your unfailing love, mighty power, and promise of victory. May my life be a testament to your faithfulness. Teach me to live boldly, love deeply, and trust completely in you. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's take a moment to reflect on the profound lessons and inspirations we've uncovered together. This tale isn't just about historical events or ancient miracles. It's about you and me right here and now, and the battles we face daily. It's a story that bridges time, connecting us to a truth as old as creation. Victory is inevitable when God is in charge. Let's go forward with hearts full of faith, eyes fixed on God, and spirits ready to embrace the victories He has in store. Remember, the same God who parted the Red Sea, assured Jehoshaphat of victory, and declared that no weapon formed against us should prosper is with you today. He's ready to take your hand and lead you into a future filled with triumphs, not because life is without challenges, but because we are always victorious with him. So, let's not just read these stories and be inspired. Let's live them out making our lives a testimony to God's faithfulness and power. As we face each day, let's do so with the confidence of someone who knows the end of the story, not just of our own lives, but of all history. That God wins, and because we are His, so do we. Think of going through life, not alone and scared, but as a brave warrior with the best partner you could ever imagine. God, this isn't just a dream. It's what happens when we let God take charge of our struggles. We stop focusing on how big our problems are and start realizing how powerful God inside us is. We choose faith over fear, knowing it's God's strength, not ours. That ultimately matters. We've learned from stories like Jehoshaphat's and the Israelites and promises in the Bible, like those in Isaiah that no matter how bad things look, no enemy is too strong and no situation is too hopeless when we trust in God. It doesn't matter if we're up against a huge army, a big problem, or just the daily stuff that tires us out. God is right there with us, fighting our battles, opening paths where there seem to be none, and changing losses into wins. But it's not only about God fixing things around us. It's also about what He does inside us. It's about how giving our troubles to Him changes us, turning our fear into faith, our doubts into confidence, and our weaknesses into strengths. It's about staying calm and knowing He's in control, even when everything's a mess. As we finish this story, I'm inviting you. Think of your challenges as chances to win, not because you're great or capable, but because of who God is and what He's promised to do for you. Face your daily problems with a fresh view, seeing them as moments for God to step in and make a difference. This isn't where our story ends. It's just the start. Every day is an opportunity to live the truth that nothing can defeat us with God 
on our side. It's a chance to stand strong against trouble, knowing that the fight is God's and he's undefeated. In closing, I invite you to walk boldly into the future, armored with faith, guided by God's hand and assured of victory. Let's not just dream of miracles, let's expect them in God's story and therefore in ours. Victory is not just a happy ending, it's a divine guarantee. Thanks for watching this video. If this message has blessed you, write Amen in the comment section, subscribe, like, and share it with others to uplift them in the Lord. May God's love, grace, and peace always be with you. Share your thoughts and experiences. Please, let us know if you have any prayer requests so we can bring them to God. Don't go anywhere. Watch more videos for spiritual guidance and inspiration.